Coach Amy, and today I'm going to be cooking for you my power muffins. For the, this recipe, you're going to need three and a half cups of oats, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one half cup of honey, one shredded zucchini, two shredded carrots, a half a cup of dried cranberries, and six tablespoons of butter, and also three eggs. So to get started, I'm going to do the dry ingredients first. And the three and a half cups of oats, actually two cups of that are going to be made into oat flour. So I add one and a half cups of whole oats to start. And then what I do with the other two cups, I actually put it in the blender. All you have to do is a few pulses and it's going to make a flour for you. So if you can see, it's going to be like a flour consistency. And that just helps bind these muffins together because there is no flour in it. So that's going to help hold it all together. All right, and then next I'm going to add my salt. So it's one half teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle that in. I need one teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. mix the dry ingredients first and then when it comes to the mix-ins like the dry cranberries and the walnuts you can use any flavor combination that you like the cranberry walnut is one of my favorites but I've also used chopped pecans sometimes I'll add mini dark chocolate chips whatever I have on hand in my pantry that I want to throw in there so I'm going to add the cranberries and the walnuts next stir that together to distribute that all evenly. All right, next we're going to work on the wet ingredients. Now in here I have one shredded zucchini and two shredded carrots. If you don't have zucchini, Granny Smith apples also work great in this recipe. So those eggs and the butter and the honey are going to go directly into the shredded carrots and zucchini. And this is one of my favorite recipes to have as a snack or a breakfast. So it works really well as both. And just make sure you break those yolks up. All right, I'm gonna add the butter and the honey. I gotta use a lot of muscles to get this honey out of here. When I do use this as a snack, I usually eat them alone or sometimes I'll put a little bit of almond butter on them. But when I use it for breakfast, I like to pair them with either some hard boiled eggs or plain Greek yogurt. So that's a good kind of a side to go with your breakfast. These also freeze very well. So this recipe right here is going to make about 18 muffins, which sounds like quite a bit and it is. So what I do is I pull out what I'm going to use for the week. And then I just individually freeze the rest. Um, these will hold up in the fridge for about a week. And then when I pull them out of the freezer, if I know I'm going to have it the next day, I just let it sit in the refrigerator overnight to thaw out. Or if I want it immediately, I'll just toss it in the microwave for a few seconds. Okay, the other thing that I'm going to add to this is beetroot powder. Um, it has a very mild taste if you're not a big beet fan. But beetroot's so good for you, it's great for your heart health. So I like to throw a little bit of this in there with my muffins. And it'll kind of give them a pink color too. So I do two tablespoons. You could also do less if you know the taste is overwhelming for you or you don't like the taste of beets. Okay, so I'm going to mix that together. And again, this will make about 18 muffins. So this is a pretty big batch. All right, next I just pour the zucchini and carrot mix in. I'm gonna mix this all together. And you wanna have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. These muffins take typically about 25 to 30 minutes to feed, to cook. All right, you gotta really use some arm power to get this all mixed in together. I've also 
also made this with um, some applesauce in place of the honey. So there's so many different things you could do with this recipe. Just, you know, play around with it, see what tastes good to you. All right, so I have my muffin pin lined. And this, uh, we're gonna start with 12, and then obviously I'm gonna have to make a second batch because it makes quite a bit. All right, so I'm just gonna fill each cup. And since there's no flour in here, these aren't going to rise. So you can fill them to the top Okay, so I'm gonna finish this, and I'm gonna pop these in the oven, and then I'm gonna come back with the finished product for you, okay? Hang tight. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, I have a tray of fresh hot muffins. Uh, the one thing that I like to do to make sure that these are done, I just poke a butter knife in there real quick, make sure it comes out clean, and that's how I know that it's done. Uh, with these, you don't wanna overcook them because the oatmeal can dry out if you cook them too long. So these are actually just perfect. And what I did here is I have one finished muffin. I'm actually going to eat this for breakfast today with some Greek yogurt and fresh berries. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. Let me know what you think, and enjoy the rest of your day. Happy eating.